Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you 10 tips that you absolutely need to know in Lumber Tycoon 2. And some of these tips are insanely helpful. So helpful that even I use them every single day that I play. So make sure you stick around to the very end of the video in order to not miss them. But anyways, without further ado, let's hop right into the first tip. So the first tip that I will be going over in this video is the truck blueprint flip, and in order to demonstrate this, I'm first going to have to crash my car off of this cliff. And as you see, I am pretty crashed right now. Anyways, this tip is very simple to do and also very useful, and all you need for it is one blueprint of any kind, however, I recommend the tiny floor, as it just works the best. Anyways, to do this trick, you want to equip your blueprint and then hop into the driver's seat of your vehicle. From there, simply put the blueprint anywhere on your vehicle and press R and T until your vehicle flips around. It may take a couple of tries, but eventually you'll be able to flip your vehicle and then simply drive off as if nothing happened. And as you see here, I just crashed my vehicle again, but all I have to do is simply re-equip my blueprint, flip my truck around, and then I'm all set to go. So yeah, this is one of the most simple and easiest glitches to do in Lumber Tycoon 2, and I highly recommend it. Next up, we have the Axe Fling, and the Axe Fling is a pretty unique glitch. I've made multiple videos on it in the past, but basically, how to do it simply is you have to equip an axe. It can be any axe, however, heavier axes like the Blue Steel Axe will take you a lot further. Anyways, what you have to do is shift lock, go up to a tree of your choosing, aim your mouse somewhere around the middle of the tree, and get ready to turn your camera to the right really fast. Oh, and by the way, in order to enable shift lock, all you have to do is go into your Roblox settings, and it's the first one here at the top. Anyways, as I was saying, simply aim your camera for the center of the tree, and then hit your axe on the tree while jumping and turning all at the same time, and you will end up going flying across the map. While this glitch isn't too practical, it is pretty fun, and can be really useful if you get stuck somewhere without your car. Moving on to the next glitch, we have Axe Wall Climbing, and Axe Wall Climbing has gone through a lot of changes over the years, however, this is the current strategy that works pretty well. First, you want to find a wall that you would like to scale, and then simply equip and drop one of your axes. I recommend the Candy Corn Axe as it works best for this strategy. Anyways, all you want to do is take your axe and put it up against the wall like this so that the blade is facing up and to the right. Then simply go into shift lock mode and grab the very corner of the blade. Now in order to climb up the wall, basically what you want to do is walk straight into your axe and go up with it almost as if you're climbing a moving ladder. And with some luck, you will arrive at the top of your rock with your axe. Now this strategy is pretty difficult to pull off and it does take a lot of practice in order to get pretty good at it. So I recommend practicing this only if you actually think you're going to need it because it's very rare that you're going to need to climb up a cliff. Next up we have Roblox Instance Freezing and this comes in super handy for a lot of different reasons. However, in order to do this glitch you are going to need to go into your settings and turn off your full screen. This will allow you to see the white bar at the top of your screen. From there, all you have to do is simply damage yourself in any way, and I'm just going to demonstrate here in the water, but you can do this by taking damage anywhere. But basically, all you do is you sit in the water, take some damage until your health gets pretty low, and then once you're about to die, all you have to do is right-click the top of your Roblox screen and hold down the right mouse button. You can move your mouse around the screen, but it's important that you just hold it down with your right-click no matter what you do. And after holding down your right button for about 30 seconds, you can simply let go of it and you will notice that your health will magically regain itself while simultaneously you do not take any new damage. And this glitch is super useful for a variety of reasons. The one I use it the most for is getting palm wood as you can use this glitch to actually drive to these two palm islands. And you can also use it when you are about to die in places like the volcano. If you get really low on health, just freeze yourself around 30 seconds and you'll gain back some of that health. This next glitch is also a super useful one, and it's involving turning your truck bed into a conveyor belt when at the wood drop-off. So let's suppose you just went and chopped some trees down. As you can see, I have all these logs in my truck, and you're going off to the wood drop-off to sell it. Simply position your truck so that the tailgate is facing the hopper like this, and then open up your tailgate so your truck actually lifts itself off the ground. From there you can go in the driver's seat and actually hold the S key and you will notice that your wood will start immediately flowing out of your truck and into the wood drop off automatically. And once all of the wood is out of your truck, simply go up and close your tailgate and then you can simply drive off and get more wood. And the only downside to this is that it does not work with frostwood simply because frostwood is too slippery which kind of sucks since it's the most expensive wood but eh whatever. 
Okay guys, next up we have the truck reversal technique, and to demonstrate this, I'm going to start by simply going down this little mountain section in my truck just by simply holding W and going straight. And as you can see, I flipped over. However, if I do the exact same thing, but instead of going straight, I go backwards and go slower, I can actually make every single drop pretty much 90% of the time. So yeah, when going off cliffs, just make sure you go backwards as it will increase your likelihood of staying upright by a lot. This next one is going to be spam chopping, and by that I mean that spam chopping a tree down is actually faster than just holding it regularly. See, ever since the hold to chop was added to this game, people have just held down their axes on wood, and while it is a lot easier on your finger, it does make it go a little bit slower. So again, this is just a little small tip, but I recommend just spamming down trees, especially if you have an axe with a long cooldown, and you really need to maximize the amount of time that you're actually chopping for. If you have the powers to build with ease, you might often find yourself chopping pieces of wood into 1x1x1 units in order to maximize your wood efficiency. However, the one issue that I have with this is that often when I make my planks 1x1 one one in the sawmill, I chop the pieces just a little too small, and it really irritates me. So one tip that I have is instead of setting your sawmill to 1x1, one one, you should set it to 1.8x2. And basically this makes it so that whenever you chop the piece of wood, the smallest possible way you can chop it still provides enough wood to fill in the whole blueprint. And that means you'll never be stuck with 99% ever again. Okay, this next one is a little bit niche, but I find this tip super useful, especially for content creators. Basically, if you're in first person, you'll notice that your cursor is kind of stuck right in the middle of the screen, which really sucks for taking cool screenshots and thumbnails. But you can avoid having this cursor show up on your screen simply by using the I and O keys on your keyboard to zoom out, move your mouse off the screen, and then press the I key to zoom in. Unfortunately, the second you move your mouse, your cursor will pop right back in, but if you want some still shots, I recommend this tip. And last but not least, we have Q and E moving. Basically, what this means is that when you pick up an item on the ground, like an axe, you'll see this prompt that says SHIFT plus WASD to rotate, and holding SHIFT and any of those keys actually rotates your item. However, what most people don't know is that there are two extra keys on here that can rotate your item, that being Q and E. Hold down Q to tilt your item one way, and then E to tilt it back the other way. This actually comes in useful a lot more times than you think, especially if you have a shop where you need to put items up for sale. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the tips, and comment down below which one of the 10 was your favorite. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this in the future, make sure to also leave that in the comments below, along with any critiques you have about my video or any questions you have about the tips. But for now, this is going to be it for me, so goodbye!